Steel Series is one of the popular brands that millions of gamers recognize and use. If you have a Steel Series device but your PC does not detect it, there are a few things that you must do. Learn what troubleshooting steps and solutions that you can do to fix your problem in this video. The first thing that you must do is to ensure that you install the proprietary software called SteelSeries Engine. This software is part of a bigger software package called SteelSeries GG, which includes GG Engine and Moments. The specific software that handles device management is the SteelSeries Engine. With Engine you can customize the configuration of your device to fit your needs. SteelSeries Engine is a special software that lets you change certain settings of your SteelSeries device. For example, if you have an Arctis 5 headset you can customize its RGB lighting, fine-tune the microphone side tone or work with the headset's equalizer. Here are the steps on how to get the Steel Series engine on your PC. First, open a web browser and go to the official Steel Series website. Click the free download button and download the installer file. Once the download is finished, click on the SteelSeries GG400 setup file to begin the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions for the installation. Open the SteelSeries GG app. If you don't have a SteelSeries account, make sure to create one and use your credentials to sign into the SteelSeries GG app. Make sure that your device is connected to the PC. On the left panel, click on Engine you should see your connected device under the gear tab. If your Steel Series device is still not detected, continue with the rest of the troubleshooting steps. Next, check the connection. For wired devices, make sure that the USB cable that runs from the device is connected to a working USB port on your PC. If you have multiple USB ports, try connecting to other ports to see if the problem lies the port and not with your device. You must also do the same if you have a wireless device like a wireless mouse, headset or keyboard. Simply unplug the USB adapter of your device and move it to an Another USB port. If you have a wired device such as an Arctis 5 headset try to see if the cable that goes to the PC is intact and not damaged. The same goes through if you have a wireless headset, be sure that the adapter that you plug into your PC do not have obvious signs of damage or that the USB cable that connects to the adapter is working. If you suspect that the USB cable is bad, try to see if replacing it with a new one will solve the problem. You also want to ensure that the device itself is not damaged, has no moisture or water damage and that the buttons are working. If you think that the device itself is the problem, you may have to contact the Steel Series support team or bring your item to the retailer for a replacement. Next, check the device manager. If the hardware looks good and everything seems to be in order but your computer is still not detecting your Steel Series device, the next thing that you can do is to check if the OS detects it. You can do that by going to device manager. Here's what you need to do. Press the Windows key or the start button on the taskbar. Type in device and open the device manager app. Depending on your device click on the item to check. For example, if your PC is not detecting your Arctis 7 headset, click on audio inputs and outputs and check if your device is on the list. If your device is not listed in the device manager, it may mean that your PC may be missing the required drivers. Try to unplug and replug your device and check if your PC automatically detects and installs the latest drivers. Lastly, install latest updates. The last thing that you can do is to ensure that your PC runs the latest Windows operating system. This is especially important if your device is not listed in the device manager, which means that the system may be missing the necessary drivers. To check for the latest Windows OS go to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update. That's it we hope this video is helpful to you please support us by clicking like, share, Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.